Hi, I'm Clay Carlino and I am not a professional gamer. I am not really finished with my most recent video, so I'm going to show you how to play dominoes. My wife and I decided that we were going to sit down and actually play a game of dominoes. Not just uh, set them up and knock them over. We pulled out the instruction pamphlet and we tried to find a simple game. This thing is like a road map. There's like a million variations. And all of them are complicated. Then we looked online. It took like three or four videos before we could find something that made sense. Here's my attempt to make it take just a couple minutes to explain. And joining me to help demonstrate is Weird Al Yankovic action figure. Say hello, Weird Al. He's just an action figure. So you'll need a set of dominoes and a pad and some kind of writing utensil. And then you just list out the people who are going to be playing. Take your dominoes and dump them out on the table face down. Mix them up. Make sure that they make a good clacky noise. The clacky noise is important. The next step is for each player to randomly pick their dominoes. If you're using more than two players, then each player gets five dominoes. If you're only using two players, then each person gets seven. My seven? Weird Al will pick his seven. Good job, Weird Al. The remaining dominoes get set off to the side in the boneyard. Each person can look at their dominoes, but don't show the other person. I'm just going to show them face up so that you can see the mechanics of how gameplay flows. Before you can start gameplay, you need to figure out which player is going to play first. That's determined by who has the highest double domino. In this case, that's Weird Al with the double six. If he didn't have the double six, then the double five would be the next highest, and so on and so forth. If no players have any double dominoes, the first play is determined by who has the, the domino with the most total dots. Weird Al has the double six. He can go first. Good job, Weird Al. Because this first domino is a double domino, it's called a spinner. This is where some of the rules that we looked up were a little bit inconsistent. Some rules said that any double domino can act as a spinner, but most of them seem to say that only the first domino placed when it's a double domino is a spinner. What a spinner means is that plays can branch off the long sides or off of the short sides. This is Weird Al's turn. After each person's turn, they add up the points off of all of the ends of the dominoes in play. In this case, there are two ends, this end and this end. That would be a total of 12 points. However, Weird Al doesn't get 12 points. The only time that you score in basic dominoes is if the score adds up to a multiple of five. My turn. I don't have any sixes. I have to draw from the boneyard. If you don't have any dominoes that match what's on the board, then you keep drawing from the boneyard until you pick up something that you can use. I drew a six and a one. So I would place that either here or I could place it here, here, or here. Because as I mentioned before, this is a spinner. I add up the points at the ends. One plus six plus six. That makes a score of 13. Since 13 is not evenly divisible by 5, I don't get any points. And now it's Weird Al's turn again. Good job, Weird Al. Weird Al is going to get the first points of this game with 5 points. Now I know what you're thinking. Shouldn't that be 17 points? When Weird Al added this domino here, these two spaces stopped being ends. It doesn't mean that they can't be played on but it does mean that we no longer count the points until a domino is added either here or here or both. One plus four is five. That is evenly divisible by five, so Weird Al gets five points. Now it's my turn. I'm going to play my double four domino. When I place this domino, I place it like this. However, in this variation of the game, this is not a spinner. We cannot play off of these two ends. 
does mean, however, that I count the entirety of the domino when I'm counting this end. So this is 8 plus 1 for a score of 9. 9 is not evenly divisible by 5, so I get no points. Go ahead, Weird Al, place your next domino. Good job, Weird Al. 8 plus 3 is 11, so Weird Al scores no points. I'm going to place the 4 and blank. Blank plus 3 is only 3, so I get no points. Nice move, Weird Al. Weird Al has taken advantage of the spinner position. Now we've got 0 plus 2 plus 3, which is another 5 points. I'm going to go ahead and play this domino here. Good job, Weird Al. Notice that Weird Al could not put this domino here because this double 4 is not a spinner. I'm going to play here. And now 4 plus 1 plus 0 is 5 points. I'm finally on the board. Good move. 5 plus 1 plus 4 is 10 points. I'm going to play here, but notice that we're running out of space, so I'm allowed to play off the corner of the domino. That doesn't mean that other people can branch off of here. It just means that the path of the dominoes is changing direction. Here, the amount on the ends is 5, 10, 14, so I get no points. Weird Al can't use his last domino, so he's going to have to draw from the boneyard. Weird Al drew a 4 with a 3. Good job! The dots is 13, so you don't get any points for that. It's my turn. I'm going to play my double 5. Unfortunately, it also doesn't yield me any points. Go ahead, Weird Al. What? Domino? Weird Al is out of dominoes. That means that he wins this round, and he gets any points that I still have in my hand rounded up to the nearest five. I only have two points left, so he's going to get another five points. So the total at the end of this round is me with five points and Weird Al Yankovic action figure with 25 points. The winner of the game is the one who reaches 150 points first. Other variations I've seen use 100 points, but that's the mechanics of a simple game of dominoes. Congratulations, Weird Al Yankovic action figure. You kicked my butt. So that's it. If you like this video or you like any of my other videos, please feel free to subscribe, click the thumbs up button. Other than that, how to play dominoes. Yay!